today we're going to show the students how to do a IV, not a needle injection, but an IV, intravenous line, otherwise known as a catheter. <clears throat> Make sure you get all your things ready to go, get the air out of the line. Everything's 100% ready before you uh, expose the needle. Now, if I was afraid that there was going to be a lot of blood, I would be wearing gloves, but because we're not contacting any blood, there's, there's no need, in my opinion. You're going to get different opinions everywhere you go. This is only my opinion. So that is tight. Let's have the patient squeeze their hand like this. There's usually a vein. There's one of three possibilities. There's usually one here, one here, and one here. These are the locations. Not everybody has all three. They're going to have two out of the three. Um, some people, you're going to find a nice one here, one here, or like I said, one right here. You see where the elbow crease is? That's where you're going to see right there. And in this case, we have one right here. One, one really good thing to do is to feel with your finger and the direction that the vein is going. In this case, the vein is going this direction. So one thing I do is I'll put a a dot with an ink pen where the ends are so I know what direction to put my needle in. Yeah, that's good. Ink pen dots. I know what direction now my needle is going. Now this particular catheter has a needle that withdraws on a cable. The needle is in through the catheter here, it's attached a cable all the way to this handle. If you get one of these, make sure you get the one that has the extra port here. If it doesn't have the extra port coming out here, you're not going to get a flash of blood when you inject. So make sure when you order the right ones, you order these here. There's your reference number. These are the easiest to use and the cleanest and the safest. Expose your needle. Make sure the bevel is up. The bevel is up. If you look at it real closely, you'll see the bevel's up. We're going to go in at an angle. Uh, depending on how much tissue you have to go through is, is going to depend on the angle you go. Uh, if the patient has a lot of tissue, and like in this case you cannot see the, the vein, we're going to go at a steeper angle. Uh, if your veins look like this, you're going to go at a more shallow angle. And now look here, a little deeper, there it is. See the flash there? So the trick is to hold this in place Hold the handle in advance the catheter. Don't pull the needle out. Advance the catheter like this. See, I'm pushing the catheter. I'm not pulling the needle out. See, but I'm not allowing the needle to go forward when I'm advancing the catheter. So the needle, once it's in the vein, does not move. You advance the catheter, holding this in place. Once the catheter is all the way in, then you pull this needle out and it, it'll pop. Now the needle is trapped inside of this case, perfectly safe. Still needs to go into the sharps container. Now we let the band go. We got this thing is full of blood and we get our piece of tape that we had. And I put one piece across here. Don't cover the area where the needle or the catheter is in because when you inject your saline to test your line, if that area is covered up, and it infiltrates, you're not going to see it. So the trick here with these things is, if I pull this cap off, blood is going to flow out. However, if I fold this over, now oh, it's folded over. Now when I remove the cap, no blood flows out. Attach your saline line. Now you'll see a bubble there. We would draw, get all the bubbles out. Then inject slowly, it should be zero resistance, very little resistance, and no, no infiltration. That's it. Don't forget to tape everything down. Now the thing with this one is, this is a one-way valve, so once you disconnect this, nothing will flow out. So this, you can turn this off, this will keep blood from flowing out. But if you have a one-way valve, you don't need to use this. And you tape this down, 
Make sure you tape it really good here like this. One piece maybe at an angle this way. And so that your IV extension line that you attach this to doesn't pull this out. Notice we leave a little loop here and then we tape this down. And that way if this pulls it doesn't pull your, your uh, catheter out. That's it.